Hello everyone, Keldon here. Uh, what I wanted to show you guys today is Open Emu, which is possibly the best emulator I've ever had for any system. It is available only for the Mac computer, so you use PC, I'm very sorry, but just not available to you yet. Um, this emulator is awesome. I mean, not just because it's uh, one emulator it's because it's kind of a system that holds all these different consoles all in one um, you know uh, home consoles and handheld devices as well um, you know really really great so what I'm gonna do I'll gonna start off with showing you exactly how you go about getting this um, so let me open up uh, Google Chrome here so super easy all we do is type open emu into the Google and there it is the very first one and click on this link it'll open up their website here um, and this is it you just click download now and you can uh, install this on your Mac again only for Mac I really wish this was for PC as well because if it had been I would have been using it long ago and uh, yeah but only for the Mac um, but yeah that is how you get it um, we'll go back to the We'll go back to our uh, emulator here. Um, yeah, so um, what you're going to notice first of all when you install this is it is not going to come with any games. Um, you know, you would. Uh, it's got all the systems here, but there will be no games. Um, so uh, I guess the next thing I can show you guys is how you get some games. So let's pop back over to Google Chrome here. I'll go to my other thing and I found this amazing site where you can get pretty much any game you want for any of these systems um, I've I've been able to find almost every game that I've ever even heard of so really really great so it is emu paradise so there we go it's up at our uh, very first link again so let's click on this, open it up, and this is the website. It's a little bit of a clunky website. Uh, they got a lot of advertisements. They're obviously trying to make some money from this since they're offering their, this all to us for free. But the advertisements are annoying and they do slow down uh, your process of getting ROMs quite a bit. But honestly, there isn't a better place to get this many emulators and ROMs all in one place. So um, over on here on the Featured section, what you're going to want to do is click this ROM, ISOs, and Games. And this will give you a list of um, all the consoles, all the arcade systems, all the handheld devices, all computer emulators that they have. And then they have some extra um, packs here as well that you can, uh, you know, like complete ROM sets. You can download all the all the games all at once all in one file it does not have all of them in there because you know some of them are just going to be too big like you want every uh psp game it's going to be gigs and gigs and gigs and gigs you know um yeah i think i've got maybe 40 and it, it's running around 15 gigs again these annoying advertisements that pop up on this site are not great and uh downloading the roms isn't the best but like i can go into the so PSP here so you can you can browse by uh, a few different options here you can browse by uh, uh, alphabetically you can browse all titles at once and then you know s sort by uh, user ratings and downloads I usually just list all titles it puts them automatically um, alphabetical order all at the bottom here so you can go through every PlayStation portable game that they have available and there are so many um, yeah, anyways, back to Open Emu. Now you've, uh, you know how to get yourself some games. Uh, once you get them, you, you know, you, un, uh, you unzip them or unrar them, whichever you would prefer to say, depending on which kind of, uh, format the game is in. And then you can just dr literally, uh, you can open your finder and you can just drag 
um, your game files right into the screen and it'll automatically install them to the proper system and uh, if there's if there's artwork available it'll automatically down them download and apply the artwork for each ROM which is really nice like you gotta admit seeing these uh, seeing these titles like this with uh, all the original ar um, album artwork it really reminds you of uh, you know when you used to play back in the day and uh, you you had these actual games you know in your hand and it, it really makes you you know um, yeah great anyways <laughs> on with this so um some of the great features about this besides there being so many consoles you know all these ataris all this nintendo all this sega uh, a couple different sony some turbo graphics a bunch of different handheld devices you know a lot of these systems too are only japanese like the famicom i don't know if you know was i believe it was the original nintendo for japan so Pretty much every single game, if not all of them, are in Japanese. Um, pretty much I have no reason to play any of these at this time where I've got so many games in English. Um, some of them might be neat to check out once in a while, but um, obviously I've got enough English games I don't have to worry about it. So Famicom, uh, PCFX, um, SG-1000, which I believe was the original Sega Master System in Japan. Again, all Japanese. Um, Wonder Swan, uh, Japanese and European, I believe. I'm not even sure if there are any European games or if they're all Japanese again. Um, you know, but anyways, really, really cool um, to be able to check this out. Um, a lot of these uh, systems that are, uh, you know, handheld devices emulators won't support um, two players, which kind of is disappointing, but you can understand how it would have worked back in the day where you'd need screen to screen and uh, they just haven't worked out the bugs with net play and that kind of thing on here. Um, you know, you don't have a whole lot of control over that kind of thing. But, you know, again, with all these consoles, it's not going to matter. You're going to be happy. Um, you've got you've got so much to work with. Um, you know, even if you were just to focus on Super Nintendo or Genesis, I doubt you'd be able to play all these games in your lifetime. There's just too many. So no shortage of games, definitely. It's going to take you some time to download them from the website, as I showed you. But once you get through all that, like, oh, great, great, great. Now, one of the other things I wanted to show you that's really great about Open Emu is these collections. Uh, these collections are fantastic. Um, there's two automatic collections, you know, your recently added games and then all of your games all at once. Um, and then uh, what you can do is you can create these other collections, um, which are basically playlists for your games, which comes in really handy if you're like me and you really like to look at the artwork, but you don't want to search through, you know, games and games and games. Um, one thing I will show you is, um, you know, you can list these as a list as well. Um, you can arrange by the name. Um, you can arrange by the rating, which I do quite a bit. I like to arrange by the rating. It's got all my favorite games right at the top. Really nice. Um, you know, and so on and so on. You can arrange by the system, which is really nice too, if you're looking for just to play a certain game for a certain system, which is really nice. Um, you know, rather than going through here, um, which you can do too. Okay, back to the icon view, which I really love, by the way. You'll notice there's a little slider up here. Um, this is to size up your icons. You can have more or less on the screen, which is really nice. Um, I like to have them as big as possible because I, I really enjoy looking at these, uh, these old artworks. And, uh, you know, it actually makes me want to play games more to see the artwork as it was in my hand back in the day. Anyways, um, you know, uh, I'll, I'll touch a little bit on some of the downsides of this. Um, you know, one of the downsides I already mentioned is, uh, you know, the lack of two player for Sony PSP. And um, actually, both these Sony systems have a little bit of problem. You know, the PSP works great, but, you know, f for single player, no, no uh, online play, nothing like that, which, you know, you're going to want to play Call of Duty against people. You're going to want to play Tekken against people. Um, you, 
you know, you can play by yourself, but it's not really what the game is for. You know, as far as I'm concerned, like I always had the fun bringing a bunch of friends over. We load up Tekken and we take turns, you know, winner stays, that kind of thing. So much fun, which you can still do with the Sony PlayStation version of Tekken and everything. But, you know, the PSP has, I think, Tekken 6, which is a lot more advanced. Oh, man, it'd be nice to play that with a friend. So hopefully in the future, that emulator will support that. But at this time, it does not. Um, one of the other problems is with the Sony PlayStation. Um, I think what it is is the resolution's way too small for a Mac screen. So when you blow it up, it kind of... Uh, it kind of glitches out a little bit. It's uh, playability and everything still 100%, but the graphics aren't quite there. So I think, uh, you know, in the future when I do some videos on PlayStation, I'm probably going to use an independent emulator outside of Sony PlayStation until they get us one where we can upscale the graphics here. Um, you know, to make it look nice. Because, I, you know, like I always played on the, I believe it was PSEXE. Uh, it gave you some really nice options where you could actually make it look a lot better than it ever did on PlayStation, which was really nice. Anyways, um, you know, I'm going to touch on all these in further videos. I got a lot of videos coming up. Um, you know, we've pivoted, as I said. I'm going to do a lot of emulator videos for these old games that I, I played growing up. I really want to share them with you guys. You know, uh, some of my other interests like um, skateboarding and uh, things like that. Uh, going to mess around with that. And then again, um, you know, the music. I have bought a lot of new hardware, so... I'm going to mess around with some of the hardware and how to use it with your iPad and, you know, configuring controls to certain apps, that kind of thing. So st uh, definitely um, stay tuned. If you're a subscriber, like, don't give up on us. Um, we aren't iOS Mars anymore, but we are back and we're going to be making a lot of videos um, on a lot of different stuff. And hopefully uh, some of my interests and your interests other than music will cross over, you know. Um, I'm sure some of you uh, are a lot like me and uh, like a lot of different things, not just music. So hopefully uh, what, I've, uh, what I'm choosing to do here will um, play out well and everybody will be happy. So all right, that's all I wanted to say about Open Emu today. Um, again, I'll touch a lot more on uh, things in, in the future here. Um, but yeah, uh, definitely if you have a Mac and you're looking for an emulator system... Um, this is the one you're going to want to get. Uh, it is fantastic. And, you know, in a lot of ways, it's rekindled my love of emulators. And, you know, since I've got this a couple months now, I have literally not stopped playing. Um, you know, so look forward to some videos. I'm going to try to do some live streaming as well. Um, you know, all right. Thanks a lot, guys.